Organizational structure is one of the key influences on a project. Lines of authority and reporting structures impact everything from how decisions are made to loyalty team members feel to the project manager. Two basic organizational structures are projectized and functional. In a classic projectized organization, project team members are typically located in the same office. Project managers tend to have high levels of independence and authority, and the majority of the organization's resources are involved in project work. These organizations may have units termed departments that provide centralized administrative support. However, these generally report directly to the project manager. In a classic functional organization, each employee has one clear superior to report to. Employees are divided according to their specializations, for example, marketing, engineering, or finance. Each functional department works separately from the other departments and completes its project tasks independently. A range of project characteristics are directly affected by the organizational structure. Project managers have very little authority in functional structures and almost complete authority in projectized structures. In functional organizations, project managers must work through the functional manager in order to achieve project objectives. This slows down decision-making for the project. Project resources are readily available in projectized structures, but availability in functional structures is very low. This is because all resources need to be approved via functional managers first. This limits the scope of the project and adds bureaucracy to resource requests. In functional organizations, the functional manager is in charge of the budget, whereas in projectized structures, this control is in the hands of the project manager. When the project manager is in charge of the budget, the project is able to access resources more quickly. The project manager's role is typically part-time in functional organizations and full-time in projectized organizations. This is largely due to the amount of responsibility and accountability that project managers have in either of these structures. Part-time managers can achieve less and take longer to do so. Administrative staff tend to be part-time in functional and full-time in projectized organizations because of different workload distribution. Part-time staff limit support for project management. The optimal organizational structure is one that combines the functional and projectized structures. This is called a matrix structure. This blend minimizes the problems and maximizes the benefits of both structures. There are three types of matrix structures. A weak matrix organization is still very similar to a functional structure, but allows for some degree of project coordination and the use of personnel from various departments to staff projects. A balanced matrix organization is also very similar to a functional organization. This organization allows for project managers. However, they report to functional managers. This greatly limits the project manager's decision-making authority and control over funding. The strong matrix organization is the most similar to the projectized structure. There are still functional managers and staff, but there are also full-time project managers with a direct reporting line to upper executives. In most cases, organizations involve a blend of organizational structures at various levels and at various times.